Hello, I'm Priscilla Archangel and my faith-centered leadership lesson for you today is The Accidental Entrepreneur. I'd like to tell you the story of Ann Byler. Ann is the founder of Auntie Ann's Pretzels and you may be familiar with that store in your local mall. Today there are over 1,200 Auntie Ann's Pretzel stores in 26 countries and last year alone sales topped 410 million. Now Ann Byler grew up as what I'd call the accidental entrepreneur. At the age of 19 when she married, her only goal was really to become a mother. Tragically though, one of her children was killed at an early age and that sent her marriage into a tailspin. The good news is that she and her husband were able to recover through the, through the effects of some good marriage and family counseling. And they decided that then they wanted to give free marriage and family counseling to others in their community to give back what had been given to them. But they needed a profit source to do that. So enter Auntie Anne's Pretzels. They bought a local Amish store that sold pretzels, pizza, and ice cream and focused that just on pretzels for Anne to run. She fine-tuned the pretzel, res pretzel recipe. She learned to market. She learned to create a demand for a product. And she grew into a number of franchises all across the U.S. Seventeen years later, by the time she sold her business, it was a phenomenal success. And all that from someone who really did not have a traditional business background, who really lacked what one would call normal business acumen. What Anne did have, though, were several key skills for any entrepreneur. She was motivated. She had high integrity. She was inquisitive and curious about how things worked. She had creativity, and she wasn't afraid to fail. This allowed her to create a product and a demand for that product that became successful for her. So really, even though I call her an accidental entrepreneur, there's no such thing. It's all about combining your passion and your calling with the right skill sets and finding a demand, finding a niche for that, so that others will want more and more and more of what you do well, of what you do best. So whether you want to think of yourself as a potential accidental entrepreneur or an entrepreneur being on purpose, on your purpose and on your calling. Think about the entrepreneurial opportunities that you can provide to others that may also be a gift to those around you. Thanks for listening.